Hello Karate family, we are starting our year with our character development program and this year we're going to be covering the seven habits of highly effective people by Franklin Covey. Uh, this book helps teach a valuable life skills such as taking initiative, planning, teamwork and more. These skills will help the students to be more driven, responsible and successful individuals at home, in school and ultimately, ultimately in life as they develop and grow into adulthood. Uh, each habit we will be taking one habit per cycle. So the first habit is to be proactive. Second is begin with the end in mind. Third one is put first things first. Fourth, think win-win. Five, seek first to understand, then to be understood. Sixth is synergize. And seven is to sharpen the saw. Each cycle, students will complete a very brief assignment, very easy, uh, but it's something that we will, it will remind them of what they learn in the video. And we're using a video format because I believe that it will be a lot easier to complete and the information will be readily available and you can replay it as many times as you like. We hope that you will find the series to be very meaningful and helpful. And we are very excited to see the students learn something we feel will be very valuable in addition to their karate training. This cycle we're going to be working on habit one. Habit one is to be proactive. What does it mean to be proactive? In very basic terms, it means that you are in charge, uh, that we have to be responsible for the decisions that we make, and that we are responsible for ourselves, not the world or our environment. Habit one uh, stated literally says, I am a responsible person. I take initiative. I choose my actions, attitudes, and moods. I do not blame others for my actions. I make good, responsible choices without being asked, even when no one is looking. Now, let's take a look at each part of that statement. The first one is, I am responsible, which means I have to be accountable for my, action, my own actions. I am responsible for the outcome of things and I have to take responsibility for what happens. Many people do not take responsibility for what happens. There's always an excuse or there's always something, someone to blame. It is the weather, the traffic, the government, the environment, other people. But if you can take responsibility, that is the beginning of you actually making your own path, living your own life. Next is I take initiative. Taking initiative is looking for an opportunity to accomplish things. You are the one that is looking for that opportunity. Things don't just happen to you, you make things happen. You help others and you always find ways to improve. I don't want others to do it, I do want to do it myself. Of course there's times when you can delegate things to other people, uh, which when is the smart thing to do, but you do not uh, leave that responsibility to others, you don't expect others to do the things that you have to do. Next is, I have control over my emotions. So having control over your emotions means that you cannot blame the way you feel on other people or other circumstances. How you react to what happens around you is under your control. Many times things happen to us and we just give up control over our emotions. We say, this person's making me so angry, this happened and I am so upset. If we can take responsibility for our own emotions, we can actually be in control of, our, of ourselves and we do not give control to other people, even when they treat us in a bad way, when they say mean things to us. If you're in control of your emotions, then you have control over yourself and other people cannot treat you like a puppet or push your buttons, which many people know how to do, especially if they know you well, they can push your buttons and make you feel sad, angry, uh, depressed, all those things. But it's, it is something that comes with practice. So practice trying to be in control of your own emotions. A bully can call you a name, but it will only hurt you if you let it. Next is I act on what I believe is right and not on emotion. So if you have some principles, what are the things that you believe that need to be done, how they need to be done, and you need to act on those, not on an emotional response. So being proactive is not being reactive. 
being reactive is something happens to you and you just react in a way. A way that Stephen Covey mentions is a person that is in control of their emotions is like a bottle of water. You can shake it up as much as you want. Nothing will happen when you open it. But some people, are, it's like a soda can. You shake it and you push their buttons and as soon as you open it, they explode. You do not want to be like a soda can. You want to be in full control of your emotions and do the things that you know are right and don't let other people make you react to them. So being proactive basically means you get in front of things. You don't let just things happen to you. You need to prepare yourself to react in a positive way, to be proactive instead of reactive. Doing right, the right thing, even if no one is watching. Doing the right thing, even if it's difficult. I wanted to add a small reference on proactive language and reactive language and how those differ from one from the other and how you can change in your mind how you react to different situations. Reactive language, for example, is there's nothing I can do. Proactive would say, let's look at the alternatives. What are my choices? Reactive language would be, that's just the way I am. Proactive language would be, what are the things that I can do differently? How I can do things differently? Reactive language, he makes me so mad. Proactive language, I can control my own feelings. Reactive language, I have to do that. Proactive language, I will choose an appropriate response. Reactive language, I can't. Proactive language, I choose. Reactive language, I must. Proactive language, I prefer. There is an example from the book that Franklin Covey uh, talks about. It's about a student that uh, comes to him in one of his classes that he's teaching and he tells him that he has to go on a tennis trip, that he needs to be excused from class. And Mr. Covey asks the student, do you have to go? The student responds, well, yeah. And Mr. Covey says, well, what happens if you don't go? The student says, well, I'll be kicked off the team. Mr. Kobe says, okay, now what happens if you don't go and you, and you stay here, you will learn something. So if you're not here, you will basically lose the learning that is happening here. Now, you have choices. You can go on the trip and miss the learning, or you can stay, get the learning, and be kicked off the team. But he says, if I were you, I would go on the tennis trip. But at that point, the student says, he changes his language and instead of saying, I have to go on the trip, on the trip, he says, I choose to go on the trip. That way, he understands that there are choices, there are options, and you are not confined to a small box. Then we, can't, we make up in our own mind and we say, I can't do this, I can't go there, I can't do this, because we feel an obligation. But when we change our language and we change our way of thinking, we can say, what other options do I have? And when we see different options, then we can make a better path or make a better informed decision. Finally, we have a short questionnaire that we want our students to go over. It is right on the bottom. There's a link to it uh, after the video. And go uh, follow that link and answer all those questions. Very easy. It just basically will reinforce everything that I covered today. Now, this is a very short review of the first habit, which means it's proactive. If you get a chance, either get the book or get the audiobook. I love audiobooks and I have many of them and I have been listening to The Seven Habits several times just to get the main points, but um, if you actually get the book, you will get the full experience of the first habit. Hope you have fun, hope you enjoy the video, and please go ahead and uh, fill out the questionnaire and then submit it, and we hope that everybody participates. Thank you.